Alright guys, this is Tortimer the Grey welcoming you back to another episode of Cube World. Uh, today we are going to take on an actual cross sword thing here. Uh, we're all set to go. It's a white one. We actually were here in Tholomy Lake uh, last episode, but it wasn't set up as an actual mission. But I figure we'll come back here, we'll take care of the, the boss of this lake, we'll get our platinum coins, and then we will, uh, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure out what to do after that. But I wanted to get one of these and this was close, so... Um, and it was white, and so I figured we can take care of it. I actually, uh, recently, last week or so, by the time this aired, um, put out a patch, uh, for the Ranger class. Well, they put, a pat put about a patch for the game, but it affected the Ranger class mostly. Um, and so, my, my right click, it still rapid fires? Well, I'm using a bow now, I've got a new bow. Uh, oops, somebody's attacking us. Oh no, they're getting attacked. Um, so they, I'm using a bow now, I, I got a good bow in our last, uh, dungeon, so using that, uh, I did some customization, put some spirits and, uh, wood on it and stuff like that, um, so it's pretty good, um, and it, ooh, leftovers, nice, um, and it works out because, uh, in the patch, um, that came out last week, I guess, at this point, um, hundred... Uh, that came out last week. They they nerfed the crossbow thing. Apparently, um, the the rapid fire right click thing was a, a glitch of some sort. Um, so now it, it'll still do it. Like on the bow, it's it's a rapid fire couple of ones every click. Um, the crossbow. Let me see if I still got my crossbow here. Uh, yeah. So if I put the crossbow on here. Um, I can still do it, but if I so let's uh let's take on this crab really quick. So it's not doing any damage, uh, so it'll still work, but it, it just uh it you know it, the animation is still rapid fire, but it, it just doesn't do anything. Um, they they took away that, so um yeah, so that's that's why. Uh, anyway, I wanted to update you guys on on what's going on in the game. Um, and so that's what happened to the most recent patch. Oh come on. Um, but yes, let me put my bow back on. Uh, so that's, I liked that with the crossbow before, uh, but since that doesn't work now anyway, um, actually I'm going to put this ring on. Uh, tempo 1.3, crit 1.3, well, this one gives me tempo and crit, so yeah, we'll do that one. Um, so, yeah, let me quickly, real quick, we'll eat again, and then we are going to go down um, and take out this boss here. Uh, do, 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 there we go. Alright, and put my potions on my bar. Um, got 16 potions here. Should be plenty. Uh, this is another ranged boss, uh, so I'm not too worried about... Um, surviving this. It, it may take a while and I'll do some cuts um, like with the last couple of bosses um, or last couple of episodes really. Um, let me know guys uh, the last couple of episodes have been kind of choppy they they were pretty long. These boss battles take forever uh, and so I, I kind of cut out and did the highlights and, and things like that but I feel like at least um, what was it? Episode it was either three or four, ended up being really choppy, um, just for time. I wanted to get the episode length down, um, and uh, so I cut out you know, a ton of stuff because the episode ended up being real long. Um, and, but I don't know if it felt too choppy to you guys. It's, I try to make it flow as much as possible, but uh, I don't know if I succeeded necessarily. So let me know, um, and I'll, I'll keep that in mind for future episodes. Um, but yeah, so getting getting used to uh, the combat here. Still having some difficulty with uh, melee guys. Uh, so you know those bosses are, are just I don't know. I'm not sure how the ranger class is supposed to manage that. Um, you know these guys take so long to kill and they hit so hard. 
that, that at least with bosses, you know, obviously regular enemies I can handle no problem. Uh, but it's because I've got the kick and the dodge back and, and things like that, so that's been good. Um, but I really, you know, with these bosses, they're so... Oh, no, I annoyed this orc. Rocky, I need you back, buddy. And this guy's got dual-wielding boomerangs. I've got to figure out how to do that, too. Because um, I should be able to. And uh, I, I tried out a boomerang um, earlier, when I, between episodes. I was, I was like, I want to do that. These guys have dual-wielding. I want to do dual-wielding. Um, but the boomerangs I had, I couldn't. And I don't know if it was just uh, by nature of the, the ones that I had, or... Uh, if it's a, I don't know, something that you can't do. I've got to do some more research. Um, but, yeah, so I'd like to try out that. The boomerang was kind of cool. If I can dual wield boomerangs, that'd be kind of sweet. Um, I've been watching uh, some other Cube World people, uh, particularly like B00's videos, um, and I'll link him in just the description. He's obviously a bigger name guy, so you guys may have heard of him anyway, but uh, he's mainly does Minecraft, but he's got a new Cube World series that's been out for a while. Um, and so his videos are pretty good, and he recently started, uh, he's a rogue class, and he started doing dual wielding weapons as opposed to like one big one. So I would equate like the bow to like the club of the, you know, or, you know, long sword or something, the kind of the slow powerful one. I'd like to see if the ranger actually can do, um, actually can do, um, some dual wielding because I've seen those guys around the map doing it and I think it'd be that may fit into more of the gameplay I want to do uh, anyway so uh, anyway I'm probably gonna keep knocking this guy out and when we get a little closer I'll uh, pick back up with you guys all right see you in a minute I do really like um, now I'm not as thrilled with Rocky as I thought I would be uh, and I don't know if that's his fault or, or what um, I, I was grinding with Fluffy a little earlier, uh, but she's still a little bit lower. Um, so I, you know, but I was, I feel like Rocky dies real quick. His HP just isn't that great. Um, but, um, I, you know, I do like how if I kind of stopped fighting for a minute, he kind of grabs the aggro. Oh, this crab's got me now too. He does grab the aggro on the boss here, uh, so while he's alive, um, he does take the focus off of me, which is extremely helpful. Uh, it gives me a chance to charge up some attacks, it gives me a chance to heal if I need to. Um, I don't like with the ranger class how... Um, it seems like when I'm up above something, I have difficulty hitting them. Um, or if I'm shooting up, it, it gives me those misses. Um, which, you know, they've got a sniper class. And I don't know if that class of ranger has better ability doing that. But if I'm, like, up in a tree or something... And I understand it's not really fair to, like, if I'm up in a tree where they can't get to me for me to be able to take them out. But still, it's... I'd like to see that fixed a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna heal real quick. Battling in the water here is actually better than I originally gave it credit for. Oh, come on. Uh, because you can move, you know, in three dimensions. Oh, no. I got two spitters on me. <laughs> there we go, Rocky. You gotta take one of them, bud. There you go, get that one. I'll take this one. No! Alright, Rocky. Okay, that one's stunned. Oof. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Come on, Rocky, take it out. Good boy. Alright, we're getting real close here. Really close. But yeah, it's kind of nice to... It's easier to to dodge and stuff in the water, it seems like, because I, obviously I'm moving... Oh, I'm moving a little slower. Lag. Uh, I'm moving real slow there. 
Um, but I can go up and down a lot easier, too. Um, yeah, Rocky, you gotta stay alive long enough to get the experience when we kill this thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, once we finish this battle, we usually... I've seen people get, you know, 250 or more experience from killing bosses, like, in the quests, so... Um, we should be getting some good experience here. I don't know if it'll be enough to let us level, but... Um, here we go. Quest complete! Defeat the ruler of Thalmy Lake. So we did it. Uh, we got a Ice Spirit 32. Um, 16 Platinum Coins. So those are our first Platinum Coins, I guess. Because um, that's the first actual quest we've completed. Uh, let me get out of this lake. And... Uh, See how much experience we've been at? 222 experience from that, so that's pretty good. Um, not too bad. We received common linen shoulder armor, plus 32. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, uh, nope, it's worse than what we've got already. But that's okay. Um, since we haven't killed enough spitters this episode, we'll quickly do this. Uh, alright. Well, let's quickly... Let's get a campfire. No, we'll just... We'll go over here. Alright. So. Hey, Rocky. Let's look at our points here. So we just leveled up. We've got two points to spend. I'm going to spend one point here in pet riding. I put a couple more into pet. Um, it boosts the health of the pet. Um, and so I'm going to put one into pet riding, which allows us to do that. And then I'm going to put... Um, let's look at one more into swiftness. I haven't really used that much, but we probably should. Use some of these better abilities. So... Um, let's quickly, uh, go to pets, uh, we'll grab Fluffy real quick, because Fluffy is rideable, and ride. There we go. Awesome. Not a whole lot quicker than walking at the moment, uh, but as you put points into pet riding, they get a lot quicker, so we'll, um, we'll be splitting our points between, uh, combat and, uh, riding for a little bit, probably. Uh, you'll notice that under Puff, uh, Puffy, Fluffy's um, XP bar there, she's got five little water droplets. So the way pet riding works in this game is that as you... Actually, I don't even know where I'm going. Let's uh, I'll kind of head back to the city. That's good. Um, so as you ride, um, they lose thirst. Um, and you can't attack from the top of them. Uh, but... Uh, as you ride, they lose thirst, uh, which you can replenish by walking through a body of water with them um, and letting them drink. But if they run out of thirst, then they'll buck you off. So um, you just got to be mindful of that. Um, but yeah, I've seen... So like I was talking about B00's videos, uh, which is a really good... Um, I'd, I'd send you there, uh, but you'd never come back. <laughs> uh, not that anyone's really watching these yet anyway. Um, I think maybe that's uh, part of the problem. People are, you know, there's there's better options out there, I guess. Um, I'm not I'm not great at this at PvP or PVE or, or whatever. So, um, oh, where's Fluffy? Come on, let's get him. Um, but anyway, so he's he's got a he's got a pet turtle actually, um, and he rides that. Um, around but his is he's put so many points into riding that he just flies so i'm looking forward to uh well i'm looking forward to getting a pet turtle but also to, to getting points into ride so uh, my pet can can really fly um that'll be cool it'll, it'll make traveling across this world i mean because uh eventually we're, we want to get out of this biome and so maybe maybe actually next episode we'll venture out we're pretty close to the outskirts here uh, we'll venture out and see what's going on. Uh, the different biomes have different kind of uh, mobs wandering around. Uh, different pets you can, uh, different pets you can tame, and all of that. So uh, that's pretty cool. Just a different environment overall. So we'll probably uh, pick up 
up some more of these. Uh, we'll probably venture out there next episode. Um, but let's... So we're... Ryan Fluffy's just... He's left, lost one thirst. So um, I don't know if jumping or, or anything kind of does that a little bit more. Um, but, yeah. So they also changed... Um, your ability to sleep or to reset the time at any time of the day in the patch. Uh, apparently, people were kind of abusing that to um, uh, get new quests all the time. Like they, if they didn't like the quest on there, they just sleep and new ones would pop up. Um, that happened to us last episode. It took us so long to uh, to grind up and and tame pets and things like that for. Uh, the quest last episode that Lon Lon Castle ended up not being an actual mission uh, anymore, so um, yeah but let's uh, I'm gonna head over here to a shop and we're gonna take a look at uh, some stuff we got some stuff to sell and uh, you know what, let's call it a day um, we'll make this a shorter episode um there's not really a problem with that. I won't have to cut as much out of it to get it down to the right level. So we'll call this a day. Um, thank you guys for watching. Next time I think we'll definitely um, we'll go out this way past uh, Long Long Castle and Thalmy Lake. Um, and we'll uh, head out into the other biome and just kind of see what's out there. And we'll probably do another quest or something uh, next episode too. But um, maybe we'll find some out in this other biome. We can actually, we've got two that are relatively close unless you know this is a wraparound one or something but we'll uh, we'll figure that out next time um in the meantime where's where's fluffy fluffy you got to be here for the ending fluffy well, i don't know fluffy stuck somewhere <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching uh as always i've been tortimer the gray have a good one